rock to the rhythm. Forth and back, forth and back, forth and back. back What's up, everybody? This is Rich Monier from Paul Marcus Photos here in Lawrenceville, Georgia. Um, I said I would get back to doing a review of the bug out bag after shooting a wedding. And I shot a wedding last Saturday, which was March 23rd, 2019. Um, today is March 29th. So as promised, like I said, or as mentioned, I said I would do a, a review after using the bag on an actual wedding. So my goals when I bought this bag, just to recap, now I have another video on my page showing you the unboxing of the bag. I just got it out the mail, just showing you I opened it up, what was inside, what my expectations were, quality of the bag, all those kind of things. Um, now I've used the bag on a wedding and this is a recap of me using it and I'm telling you, you know, the real deal of how it worked out. I got the bag because I, want, I only have, I have upgraded my camera. I went from having two camera bodies, um, 5D Mark IIs, and I just recently invested in a Canon EOS R. I only have one. So now um, I wanted to shoot my wedding with the brand new camera, new technology, new sensor, it's mirrorless and all that. And I wanted to use that one camera all day. I didn't want to flip from new camera and then have a second camera as an old camera because I wanted my images to be consistent all day. Um, so using one camera, I would have to rotate lenses from wide to tight to prime to zoom. And I would have, I wouldn't have the luxury of having two cameras to do this job. So having a new camera, I wanted to rotate lenses and I need those lenses quickly accessible to me. So right on my hip, I don't, I don't like to have the stuff in a bag where I'm taking pictures and have to walk over to my bag, change lens, come back, redo, recompose. Having everything right on your body is really good and fast. Um, keeps the clients moving, keeps everything upbeat, doesn't slow things down. So I looked at this bag for over a year. Um, when it first came out, I didn't buy it. I thought it was expensive. Um, the price has come down after the first release. It's in a more reasonable range. So I went ahead and bought the bag for $199. Um, got the bag. It fits everything. I showed on the previous video what lenses fit, so I'm going to skip all that. If you want the details of the bag and how it lays out and all that stuff, check out SouthSincotta.com or check my other video when I showed the unboxing of it. But this is just saying how it worked. So the overall review of the bag using for a wedding for me is two thumbs up. The bag is well constructed. It's the bag itself is light, but it's strong and being, you know, adjustable shoulder thing. You can get the height of, I mean, women, men, big, small, whatever, you're going to be able to adjust the bag to where it sits where you need it. So you can reach in and, and, and use it, um, easily. Um, swapping out lenses in this lens swapper pouch work perfectly like a dream drop lenses in it was secure it didn't fall over. you know it's on your hips so your body is holding it steady so everything worked out good um, just so you know my lens lineup on my camera I had a 70 to 200 in the bag I had a 15 to 30 Tamron which is a wide angle and it's kind of big beefy and kind of heavy and then the other lens I had were a 24 to 70 and a 50 so in the bag was the 15 to 30 to 24 to 70 and a 50 on the camera was a 70 to 200. When I took that off, I dropped it in this pouch and I grabbed one of the other ones. Um, the, my speed of that day went very well. Um, having everything right next to me worked very quickly and um, I enjoyed it. I mean, it was very simple. I left my, I have a think tank roller bag, which is an airport check-in model, I guess. Um, and it's like a roller board. I pretty much had it nearby, but there were times I had staged my photography gear in the venue somewhere and it was away from me. And I was just walking around with this one bag and I was confident knocking out all my pictures. The other thing is, just to show you how I loaded it down, or mention how I loaded it down, I don't want this bag to turn out to be super heavy, even though it can fit a lot of stuff. I don't want it, if it can carry 25 pounds, I actually don't want to walk around with 25 pounds all day. Maybe I only want to walk around with 15 or 18 pounds. So even though it can fit three speed lights, 
I only had one in there. I had one speed light, I had a mag mod, uh, mag sphere in there. I had spare batteries. And I'm sorry about the noise on this glass desk. Um, in the bottom com compartment, I put my spare camera batteries in there just in case battery power was an issue I started to run out. Hey, it's right here, I got my batteries. I also had my memory cards. You know, you're running full on memory cards, easy to reach in the bag, switch it out, get a new card. So in this bag for me, it's only gonna be lenses, memory cards, spare batteries. I did put mints in here and, and uh, my, my iPhone power pack. So if my iPhone was dying, I could actually plug into a battery pack and charge my phone. Business cards were in there as well. And that was it. I didn't even put a bottle of water in there because a bottle of water is heavy when it's full. So lenses, memory cards, spare batteries, mints, and a battery charger. That was it. My bag stayed manageably, manageably light and I was able to move and I felt pretty good. Um, did my back hurt? Yes, a little bit, but I think it was regards to I had the camera around my neck and that neck strap with that weight of that camera wore me out. Um, this week I have a wedding, which is tomorrow on the 30th of, of March. Um, I'm going to use a hip holster for my camera so I don't have it around my neck. And I think my back problem will be solved. I don't think it had anything to do with the... Uh, the bug out bag on my shoulder. Um, I think it had more to do with that neck strap holding my, and my neck was holding this all day. And eventually I started to feel some tension in my back. So overall review, like I said, two thumbs up using this on a job, on a wedding. I was able to work with three, sometimes four lenses in the swap, lens swapper pouch, rotating lenses through the pockets, um, changed out memory card once through the day. And um, my batteries, I had a battery grip on my EOS R, two batteries in there. They lasted all day. That will come in another review because I've said i seen where it says EOS R battery life is kind of suspect and a lot less than the other series of cameras in 5D, uh, Mark III and IV and all that kind of stuff. But I use two of the high capacity LEP6N model batteries. And those two of those batteries, I shot um, over a thousand pictures on the wedding and I came home and I still had one bar of power left on my, uh, showing on my diagram or my meter on top. So I, my batteries did not die, it lasted a whole day um, or a whole wedding. And this wedding went from, I was shooting pictures from 11 a.m. to 6 p.m. So that's seven hours, thousand pictures, that's pretty good. So there you have it bug out bag for me on a wedding it worked great and um, I have no complaints I think it did a job intended I'm, ha I'm happy with the product well constructed speed light I was flowing all day I felt good I only had one camera on me and I was knocking the pictures out and, and everything worked really well so kudos to Sal Sincata and the team for the bag developing it I think it's a quality product and if you're considering it now you have my info of how it worked for me Hopefully that helps you. So until next time, if you like I said, if you didn't see the other review of unboxing it, check my previous video out. And you can also see more about this bag, salsandcon.com. If you like these videos about the bag, give us a like, hit the like button, subscribe to my page. I'm gonna try to drop some info throughout the year, dropping out vlogs of things I use maybe, and hopefully it helps somebody. People's uh, pages I've been to, uh, their pages have helped me on products and reviews and all that. So I'll drop my own and maybe somebody will catch mine and it can help you with a purchase or a decision. All right. So until next time, this is Rich Meyer from Paul Marcus Photos, Lawrenceville, Georgia. Peace. Just rock to the rhythm, forth and back, forth and back, forth and back, 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 back.